we're learning about lots of different vegetables that we can eat. And I want to prove that we can eat all of a plant, the whole thing, all of the different parts. So let's have a look at the different ways that we can eat different parts of a plant. So first we have the roots, then we have the stem, next we have some leaves and the flowers at the top and in the centre the seeds grow. So there we are. And often, as I'm sure you've probably seen on some daffodils, bulbs are a type of root that are at the bottom of the plant here. So those are all the different parts of a plant and this is how we can eat them. So I've had a little look in my fridge and seen what wonderful vegetables we've got that are different parts of a plant. So we have here a carrot and a carrot is a root it grows at the bottom of a plant so that's one root that we can eat potatoes also grow under the ground and they are a root vegetable as well as our delicious sweet potatoes they are a different root vegetable again so they are the roots of a plant that we can eat next we have a bulb. Now garlic is a bulb and onions are a bulb and again they grow under the ground. This is the shoot where it comes above the soil and look you can still see the roots on the bottom there. So that can go with bulb. So we know we can eat carrots and potatoes and sweet potatoes, those are the roots, and we can eat garlic and onions, those are bulbs. Next let's have a look for some leaves. Here we have some romaine lettuce leaves, bright green and beautiful. So let's pop them on our plant, some lovely leaves that we eat. And also a sweetheart cabbage. There we are. So we've got a lovely sweetheart cabbage. I'll squeeze him in there and he can be the other leaf on our plant. Now, the seeds in the centre if you remember from last week, we do eat sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds, but also peas are a type of seed and we definitely eat peas and corn. So there we are, there are the seeds that I eat. And right at the top, we've got the flower. Did you know that the top of the block of broccoli, the florets up here, that's called the flower and it's the same for a cauliflower as well so this bit is the flower of a plant so there is my flower now I'm sure you've noticed that I've missed out the stem I couldn't find anything in my fridge that was a stem I had a good think and I know that rhubarb is the stem of a plant so is celery and so are asparagus so I've written celery here because I don't have any celery in my house. But these are all the different ways we can eat every single part of a plant. From the roots all the way up to the flower at the top. Now at home I'd like you either to have a look in the fridge and have a think or you can use the pictures that I've provided of different vegetables See if you can sort out the different parts of a plant that you would eat. Make sure that they're ones that you like and you'd have a go at eating them.